Hey y'all, so I'm here to do my October empties and this is um, products that I finished up outside of my project pan products. These are just sort of extra stuff that I finished and ignore the mess in the background. My apartment's kind of messy and needs to be cleaned um, and I just got back from the mall with um, my foster cat which is why the pet taxi is over there and all that good stuff. Lizzie is under the table. I'm sure you saw her head at the beginning of the video, so she might come and make an appearance as usual. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I finished is this mouthwash antiseptic, the Up and Up brand, um, compared to Listerine Antiseptic Fresh Burst. It's in Spring Mint. This stuff is nasty, disgusting, gross, like burn fire in your mouth awful don't ever buy it i'm using one now that i pretty like that i like pretty 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 little off that's terrible grammar i'm using one now that i like a lot it's also by up and up but it's the violet mint it'll be in an empties video eventually i used up one of my bath and body works antibacterial gentle foaming hand soap i use one of these every month um it either comes out of the bathroom or the kitchen i usually finish one this was an exotic rain, exotic rainforest. I bought this back in March. Um, it was okay. I, the scent wasn't anything spectacular. I wouldn't repurchase the scent even if I could. I also used up another hand soap, and this is the Wild Rose Caring Hand Wash from the Body Shop. I got this from TJ Maxx. It smells like rose. It's delicious. It didn't last very long. I used this up really quickly. But I really liked it, so it smelled really good. I used up a coconut lime verbena creamy body wash from Bath and Body Works. This, I have absolutely no idea how old it is. If I did know, it's probably embarrassing. So I used it up because I desperately needed to. Um, this is pretty boring. I finished two deodorants. Secret Clinical Strength, I love. This is the deodorant I've been using for years. I am trying to switch to more natural deodorants because I do worry about, you know, aluminum and stuff. Um, so I really like Lush's Teo um, for a more... Oh, I've got to see this. The cat is playing with the edge of the table, and she stops when I move the stuff. She's playing with the edge of the table, if y'all heard all that. Anyway, look. Crazy. Okay. Um, so anyway, I really like this deodorant. It works really, really well. But like I said, I'm trying to use more natural ones. This, the Dove Clinical Protection, in this is the Rebalance. What's the scent? It says, maybe it doesn't say it anywhere. It's like plum and something. I don't know why it doesn't say it. Anyway, this is awful. It doesn't work. I started to smell like immediately like it does not work at all and then the smell of this even though it doesn't like help with like regular smell like the smell of this is so overpowering and like nauseating it is terrible and I hated it I'm so glad I used it up I finished this perfume sample of the Arquiste Le Trogue perfume that I got in my birch box this took me like two months to finish this little bitty teeny tiny sample I love this. Mm, you can still smell it. It smell it's really citrusy, lemony. I love this, but <laughs> but the like one ounce, maybe like one point five ounce normal size perfume bottle is one hundred and sixty five dollars. So will I purchase it? No. One hundred sixty five dollars? Absolutely not. But it smells really good if you have one hundred and sixty dollars to blow. I used up this simply smooth. Keratin Replenishing Shine Spray that I got when I had my keratin treatment done um, over Christmas. This stuff I like a lot. I would repurchase it if I could find it. I don't know where to get it, though. Um, it smells like coconut. Mm, it smells really good. Yeah, I like this stuff a lot, but like I said, I don't know where to get it. Two Lush products. I'm making sure that's it. Two Lush products I used up. A cupcake fresh face mask that I got for free for returning five of these black pots. It's just, this one's cleaned out, but it's just a brown like putty you put on your face. It smells like brownie batter and um, it's meant for like oily acne prone skin. I really liked it. I mean, I don't know that I saw like a huge difference in my skin, but I liked it. 
Then this, I don't know if I've talked about this in a video or not, um, but this is my Holy Grail makeup remover face cleanser thing. It's a facial cleanser, um, and I left, like, the residue in there so you guys can see. It's like a white cream. This stuff takes off makeup like nothing else in the world. Like, it takes off, it takes off my Benefit Bare Real Mascara. It's so, so great. I, this is my third or fourth pot I've been through, and it's, it's great. I will repurchase that again and again. I finished up two little samples of the Smashbox Photo Finishing Primer, Photo Finish Primers. I had the green one, that's the color correcting one, and then I had just the regular. These were okay. I wouldn't purchase them. I, I think that they accentuated my pores more than I would have liked. I also used up this little Jack Black All Day Oil Control Lotion. I mean, I only got two uses out of this, so I can't really say a whole lot about it. It was fine. I don't know that it did anything amazing. So I, And I think Jack Black's pretty expensive, so I would not purchase it. One more sample. I got this in my Birch Box. It's the Lip Perfection Gel in Melrose, which is this color. Which this color, the swatch color is so much lighter than the actual lip stuff was. I hated this. Number one, it was really a little too dark for me. Number two, it was so liquidy. Like, it was watery, and it never, like, stuck on my lips. I hated this. I would never, ever, ever purchase that. I finished my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This stuff is great. Um, you can see that there's some around the rim, but, I mean, it was getting impossible to, like, cram my brush into the rim, so I just said it's done. Great powder. Really like it. Will likely repurchase it. I'm trying to use up powders that I have that I hate first. And then the last product are these Say Yes or Yes to Cucumbers facial towelettes, you know, just makeup remover wipes, whatever. A friend of mine gave these to me. She didn't like them. She said they burned her eyes, which I've heard a lot of YouTubers say. Um, they didn't burn my eyes. I think I have eyes of steel, though. Like, nothing burns them. But... I didn't like these. I didn't like the smell. I didn't, I don't like the way that they feel on my face. I just, I would never purchase these again. But, I mean, you know, if a friend gave them to me, I would use them. So, that's all of my empties for the month of October outside of the stuff that I finished for my project pan. Um, I'll leave my project pan update linked below because I finished 12 products for my project pan as well. So, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.